one becomes five. One day, as little monkey was passing by Uncle Bear's house, Uncle Bear gave him a big red peach. Little monkey didn't want to eat the peach right away, so he cradled it in his arms and continued on his way home. As he strolled along, he came to a small river where he met little pig. Little pig saw the big red peach in little monkey's hand, and his mouth started watering. I haven't had a peach in a long time, little pig exclaimed. Oh, I'll give the peach to you to enjoy. Without hesitation, little monkey handed the peach to little pig. Thank you. Little pig happily received the peach and then took two bright yellow oranges from his own fruit basket. I'll give you two sweet and tangy oranges in return. Thank you, little monkey said. Holding the two oranges as he continued on his way, when little monkey reached the orchard, he met little lamb. Seeing the oranges in little monkey's hands, little lamb couldn't help but salivate. Oranges are so sweet and tangy. I'd really love to have some. Oh, I'll give the oranges to you to enjoy, little monkey said. And he placed the two oranges in two little lamb's hands. You're so kind. Thank you. Little lamb quickly picked three large and sweet pears from his basket and handed them to little monkey. These are the pears I grew, and they are incredibly sweet. They must be delicious. Thank you so much, little monkey said, holding the three pears as he continued his journey. Before long, he met Little Bear. Little Bear couldn't help but draw when he saw the pears in Little Monkey's hands. Your pears look so crispy and sweet. I really want to eat them. Oh, I'll give the pears to you to enjoy, Little Monkey said, and he gave the three pears to Little Bear. Little Bear was thrilled, and in return, he immediately selected four big. Red apples from his fruit basket and handed them to Little Monkey. I'm giving you these four apples. Please accept them. Thank you. Little Monkey smelled the strong fragrance of the apples and smiled with delight. With the four apples in hand, Little Monkey continued on his way. Just as he was about to reach his doorstep, he encountered Hippo. Hippo looked at the apples in Little Monkey's hands and said, "The red apples look very sweet. I really want to eat them. Oh, I'll give the apples to you to enjoy," Little Monkey said and handed the apples to Hippo. Hippo happily bit into the apples and then he took out five fresh, juicy peaches from his fruit basket and handed them to Little Monkey. I just picked these peaches. They are incredibly fresh. Oh, thank you, little monkey exclaimed. He placed the peaches at home and couldn't help but exclaim, "Oh my! My peach has turned from one into five!"